lots of stocks that are in the spotlight. JLR CEO Thierry Bolor has resigned citing personal reasons and will be leaving the company on the 31st of December. But how has the leadership change impacted the stock of the company? Sharad is here tracking the trend and joins in with that analysis. Sharad? Well, yes, an important management exit happening in Tata Motors as JLR CEO Thierry Boloro has actually resigned from the post of CEO. He'll be leaving the company on December 31st. He joined the company as a CEO from the September 2020, replacing Ralph Sfeth. And do remember, he was the fourth CEO after Tata Motors had acquired JLR in the year 2008. So since his tenure had started as a CEO, the stock is up 200% and compare it with the Nifty Auto Index, that is up almost 49%. But do remember that the stock growth has happened because of the domestic business outperformance scene for India. Now, apart from this, uh, the important tenure, the key points in his uh, tenure was the first was the reimagined strategy. He also focused a lot on the electrification strategy of the part. But however, two important uh, difficulties he faced were first was the COVID-19 restrictions coming in and also the chip shortage issues, which kind of put a Tata Motors JLR aspect in a uh, bleak spot. Now the succession ahead, that is an important thing, is Adrian Mardel will be taking over as the interim CEO. He already is uh, connected with the company for the last 32 years and also a board member over the last three years as well. Now let's look at the key exits which have come in over Tata Motors and JLR over the years. And firstly, it includes CEO Gunter Buschek. He also also stepped down as a CEO and MD in June 30, 2021 and also was high profile exits coming in design and marketing teams such as Pratap Bose and SN Berman and lastly even Mark Listola was expected to join Tata Motors as CEO and MD but he also backed out citing personal reasons.